I'm Thomas Eriksson, BDM for Smart Meetings Maverick Nordics. And with me today I have Andrea Sigvall, our Swedish team lead and sales specialist uh, collaboration. We will talk about Microsoft uh, Teams rooms on Android versus Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows. And Andreas, let's start with the differences. What, what are the main differences? I mean, thinking of the, the systems it, themselves, I mean, yeah, so the, the, the basic difference may be obvious, but it's, it's the, the operating system. Uh, Windows 10 based versus the Collab OS Android based operating system, and which is the new one, obviously. Uh, it's purpose built, which could obviously have its advantages, whilst the Windows 10 solution is, is a Windows 10 PC with an a image on top for Microsoft Teams rooms. Mm. Any differences in terms of, uh, I mean, the, the um, features, functions, uh, um, when you compare the, the two? Yeah, it is differences. Again, the, the Android solution is, is new. The end goal is that they have the same features, but right now there are a number of features that are coming. But overall, I'd say most of the features are there already. Um, like like front row, uh, co uh, content camera, are those? Those are not there yet, I believe, but no. will, they will come? Yes, they are coming uh, during the year. Wow, wow. Right, let's say and play with, with an idea that I'm now about to um, invest in a, in a Teams room system to my home office, for example. Which one would you... Uh, suggest to me uh, to choose of the two? Yeah, I would say that's quite easy choice for me. I would go with the Android solution. Uh, reason being that, that it's, it's, uh, it adapts depending on what kind of license I put in there. So if I put a personal license on the, the Android device, then I will also get a different layout that is suited depending on the, the license that I put there. So for instance, if you want to record, you have the record button on that system, which you don't on the room system. But let's say you press record, then it will automatically save that recording down to your personal OneDrive as well. Mm -hmm. So that's easy then. You can either run it in personal mode or uh, meeting room mode. If you run it in personal mode, I have access to my own OneDrive. I can record meetings. That's actually perfect for my home office use. Actually, really, really good. Then, in terms of security, uh, are there any differences there? No, I mean, again, it's, it's two flavors of the, the same solution. Uh, both are secure, I would say. Um, the whole view from Microsoft is that the system should take care of themselves and update and, and have those latest updates and they get that every night. Uh, I would say both are, are secure mm -hmm. and, and good to use, yeah. Mm, mm. And uh, I believe both versions are also then uh, um, visible in, in, in Teams Admin Center. You can control them from there. Uh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Absolutely. Both are there. Uh, Teams Admin Center in itself is also undergoing uh, updates and, and getting a better view and, uh, and connection to the systems uh, to, to administrate your whole fleet of, of uh, rooms, basically. So uh, one of the advantages, I would say, with the Android solution is that if you have systems uh, to, to deploy, uh, you could prepare everything at, at your office, uh, get a code and send that, that out to the customer if they put it up themselves and, and the whole system would deploy by itself, mm -hmm. basically. That sounds amazing. Sounds really, really good. And if you also think that this sounds good and amazing, contact us at Banvrick and do it already today. We'll tell you more about Teams Rooms on Android versus Teams Rooms on Windows.